Hi, I'm Jeff DeRiso from Beckman Collaborative, and today I'm going to show you how to create a workflow rule in Zoho Recruit to automatically send emails to your job candidates at a certain stage of the hiring process. And the emails these candidates receive will be unique to their unique status as a candidate. So if they're rejected, they'll receive a rejection email, and if they've moved on to the next stage, they'll receive an appropriate email for that. All you have to do is update their status, and the correct email template will be sent to them automatically. So let's get into Zoho Recruit, and I'll show you how it works. Here we are in Zoho Recruit, and Zoho Recruit is what's called a recruitment CRM. It's just basically designed to manage the talent acquisition or recruitment process. So the main modules here are job openings and candidates, and we also have interviews. And so for this video, I made a job opening, so we'll click that. And we see we have our test job opening administrative assistant. The status is open. And we have other details associated with that. We'll click candidates here. And now these are the people who have submitted the application. And once they submit the application, they get populated in this module. So we'll click our new test applicant here. And now we see all the specific details that they've submitted on their application. They're captured in this candidates module here. But what we want to look at today is this hiring pipeline. So we'll click that. And you see we have this whole journey that they can go through as a candidate. Each uh, phase here, screening, evaluating, interview, etc., there can be multiple statuses within that phase. And if we click move to next status here and select candidate status, you see what I'm you see there's multiple statuses within each phase. So let's say we want to send an email after the screening process, and we want to send one template for the people who get rejected, and we want to send another template to the people who are qualified, who have been qualified. So basically the, the outcomes of this screening process. So let's click cancel, and we'll go to the cog icon, the setup icon in the top right corner and click that. Let me go to automation workflow rules. Let me click create rule. Now the module is the candidates module. And we'll give it a name. Call it post screening notify. Just a basic description of what it's doing. Click next. This is where we set the trigger. We decide we want to do this on a record action and when the status changes. So now we have a menu that comes up where we choose uh, a from status and a to status. So we can select on the trigger to only trigger it when someone comes in from a certain status and to a certain specific status. But we can also leave it as any status and leave it open. So we have options in terms of this trigger um, if we want to go any status to a specific status or a specific status to any status, we have all the options. So I'm, if I click rejected here and click next, that would be the trigger, which if any time st any status gets changed to rejected, that's, that's going to trigger this workflow rule. But I want to be, this rule to apply to people who are both qualified and rejected. So what I want to do is actually leave it open to say any status. And I'll click next. And now here's where we set a condition where we say that the status is rejected. And then we'll click next. And now here's where we set our actions. We'll go to notify via email. And now we would select our email template. And we actually have one right here, it looks like. So we'll just click that and click Associate. So now when the, a candidate status changes and it's changed to rejected, they'll get this rejection email. Now we can add another condition here. And we can say when the candidate status is qualified, and then we click next, 
And we do the same thing we did before. Go to actions, notify via email. And now we need to create a new alert and select our template. We'll give our alert a name just to signify that it's the qualified template. We'll select our qualified template here. Now we select our recipients. And first we want to ensure that we have the candidate selected as our recipient. And we do. So we click the candidate's main email and we'll add that. We can also add other emails, the owner, which would be maybe the hiring manager or whoever's managing the job opening. We click save and associate. And now when the candidate status is qualified, they will get the correct email template for their appropriate status. So because we left this as any status to any status, that means this rule is going to trigger any time a status candidate status changes. So theoretically, you could add more conditions here and send a template for several different statuses. So now let's go back to our applicant to test this. We'll select the hiring pipeline. So we'll click move to next status. Select our candidate status as qualified. Click update. So now let's check our email to see if we got this message. So here we are in our email and you can see we've gotten our qualified email template. So now let's move that status once again to rejected to see if we get the rejected message. I'll click move to next status again. And this time we'll select our candidate status as rejected. And we'll click update. So now we'll check our email again. And this time we've gotten a separate email template with our unique information and based on our unique candidate status. And then if we go to the candidate record within Zoho Recruit, I can see a record that both of these emails were sent and I can also see the status that they were opened. So this is a way to track uh, the email activity for all of your applicants. So that's how you create a workflow rule in Zoho Recruit. It's a pretty good way to streamline the recruitment process, spend less time clicking on who gets what email template, and all we have to do is update their status in the system, and then they get the correct one. So it just makes it a lot easier to stay in touch with your candidates, keep them updated on their unique status as a candidate. Please leave any questions you have in the comments and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And as always, you can contact Beckman Collaborative for support. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.